they could improve to be. be. And um, this is a great opportunity in these circumstances for us to be able to persevere from some difficult things to overcome adversity. I don't think you'd be a great competitor if you can't overcome adversity because adversity is coming some kind of way. And you should in, in, uh, enhance the challenge of you know what's coming. And this is another challenge. I'm working every day. You know, one of the things that I think makes it a little difficult for the players is this is only our third day in pads. And we've been in shells a couple times or shoulder pads, you know, a couple, three times. But um, now to scrimmage and try to get the execution when you're going fast and it's the first time you're getting tackled, the first time you're hitting is um, not something that we're disappointed in, but certainly uh, areas that we can do a whole lot of improving, which definitely we want to focus on. And, you know, I think it's always important for players to, you know, self-assess and say, okay, I played this many plays today. I would play this many plays if we had a game. Uh, I'm not in good enough condition to be able to sustain the level of effort, uh, toughness, um, ability to stay focused to do my job for this many plays, and yet I know I'm going to play more later on. So every practice, every opportunity you get is not something that you want to endure the practice, but you want to push yourself so that you can get to the next level of where you need to be to stay focused for longer and play with more consistency for longer, you know, in every game that you play. So, um, look, everybody got reps today at quarterback. Um, you know, I'm not a stats guy, so we're not interested in what, what their statistics were. Now, uh, we are going to be interested when we watch the film and, you know, how did they execute? Did they throw the ball the right place at the right time? Were they accurate in what they did? Did they take care of the ball uh, so that we have a chance to, you know, play winning football at that position, and that's what we'll be evaluating. So if you ask me a question about it, that's the answer I'm going to give you. So, um, you know, we still had drops at receiver. Uh, we still had mental errors uh, on defense. Uh, we still jumped off sides too many times when it was a hard count. So we, we have a ton of things to work on. But in all honesty, if we didn't have a ton of things to work on, why would we have 20 more practices or whatever it is for the first game. I think it's the attitude that you approach, you know, each and every one of those practices. You know, Doc Rivers made an interesting statement last night. He said, do you want to win? Everybody in the room said, yeah, I want to win. But do you really want to win? Because you want to win if you can keep doing all the stuff that you've been doing that puts you in your comfort zone and maybe isn't the stuff you need to be doing to win, but that's what you so you want to win, but you're not really committed to winning. You're just committed to staying comfortable and doing what you want to do. So then, you know, some of those things bite you in the butt when the time comes. And I think that's uh, something that players really need to think about. Because you do have to make sacrifices to be able to do the things that we want to try to do, that, that these guys have goals and aspirations to do. Uh, you have to make some sacrifices. You have to invest in yourself in terms of how you sleep, how you rest, how you recover the habits that you have, how you eat, how you hydrate. I mean, there's all kinds of things that go into what is my level of performance going to be. You know, if you dissipate, whether it's drinking, uh, smoking, whatever it is, you know, all those things are going to affect your performance. So you're only committed to winning if you can do the things you want to do, not all the things you need to do to be able to win. What did you see from the offensive line today? Um, you know, inconsistent, not enough depth. Um, you know, we had a couple explosive runs, but, you know, when you're playing against each other, was the explosive run because of great execution or was it because of terrible execution on the other side? You know, so until you watch the film, it's kind of hard to evaluate. Uh, I just think we need to get more guys in the offensive line to be able to play winning football. And um, we need to add depth to the group. You know, we got maybe six, seven guys that I think are can play, uh, but we need a lot more than that to get through the season. Sam, Sam Charlie. Yeah, Coach, you mentioned the drops at receiver, but what did you see from that group today overall, and how they maybe progressed early in camp? Yeah, well, we made some good plays today too. So, you know, I think that uh, we had some guys make some really good catches. I think the quarterbacks made some really good throws at times. But what is the level of consistency? 
I mean, if you're a receiver, why do they call you receiver? You're supposed to be able to catch the ball, right? I mean, that's what receiver means. So you should never drop a ball. And, um, you know, that's something that we got to stay focused on. Uh, what, do you, what have you thought about how the defensive line has progressed to this point and what you saw from them today? Yeah, I, I think we have five or six guys that are playing pretty well. Um, so, you know, again, same old thing. You know, we need more people to be able to go out there and play consistently the way you need to play to play winning football because that's probably not enough. But, you know, um, Otis has had a really, really good camp. Uh, Justin has had a really good camp so far. Um, trying to bring some of the other guys along to be able to play. Um, Tim's a little up and down. He needs to be more consistent. So everybody's got something that they can work on, and that's really what we're focused on right now. Uh, question for you about the versatility in the secondary. secondary. Who were a few of the guys who had the highest comfort level playing more than one role back there? Uh, we got a bunch. I mean, we're playing guys all over the place. So, um, you know, we Terry on can play different spots. Cooley can play different spots. Malachi can play just about everywhere. Uh, Jalen Key can play multiple positions. Uh, trying to develop, you know, Tony Mitchell to be able to play multiple positions. Um, so, you know, we need to have a lot of guys that can do that. Um, you know, Smitty can play a couple different things. Christian Story can play a couple of different things. I mean, that's one of the things that we try to do in camp. We got guys rolling all over the place. It does sort of sometimes affect the repetitions that a guy gets at a certain position. But I think it's important that guys have a background and a basic knowledge of information. So if we get guys injured during the season, we can move guys around and have a chance to get the best people on the field. It's the same thing in the offensive line. You know, guys got to be able to play multiple positions. What have you seen from uh, Jan Miller's explosiveness uh, as a runner? And how much, I guess, uh, progress has he made from year one to year two? Yeah, Jam's uh, got a little, you know, thigh bruise or something. So he's been a little limited for a couple days. But um, he's working through it. He actually scrimmaged some today. I don't think he was probably 100%. But uh, and before he got hurt, he was doing really, really well. And uh, I think, again, you know, running back is – We've got four or five guys that can play there. Uh, the key to the drill is keeping them healthy so that they can continue to develop and progress and uh, complement each other. So what have been your impression of the two uh, summer enrollees at outside linebacker, Keeley and Pierre? Um, they, they, they've got to both learn, um, and they're learning, and they're progressing. But those guys weren't here. We only had four guys that that weren't here, wasn't here in the, in the spring. So um, their learning curve is a little bit behind, you know, a lot of the other guys. But um, they have a lot of potential. They have a lot of ability. I just think that, you know, outside linebacker is a position that not very many guys played, you know, when they were in high school. They played defensive end. They rushed up the field all the time. So to teach guys how to play that is a little bit of a work in progress. How do you drop? When do you drop? How do you stand up and play and use your hands? When can you rush up the field and when can you not? So all those things are, you know, sort of, you know, things that those guys need to learn. But, uh, man, we're happy to have them both here. They got tremendous talent and ability. They got the right attitude and they're working hard. Coach, only a couple of days have had so far, but how would you assess the physicality of the team so far in the early stages of games? Uh, I think you answered your own question. You know, we've had two days in pads and one scrimmage, so. We got some guys that play pretty physical. We got some guys that need to get more physical. Um, but, you know, I kind of like what Pete Rose said the other night. Sparky Anderson, he said, had a great, was a great manager. And he asked him one time, what's the key to handling players? He says, well, you got to know when to kick them in the ass. You got to know when to pat them on the ass. And you got to know when not to say anything. So we're trying to figure that out. But I think I've been kicking them in the ass a little bit more and I've been patting them on the ass, so we'll just keep on keeping on. <laughs>